I recently made myself a new casting furnace. It's made from a five gallon steel pail lined with the fire bricks, pieces of fire brick, and refractory cement. The crucible inside is uh, just a simple steel crucible I welded up for melting aluminum. It's four inches in diameter and about uh, seven inches tall. Holds a fair bit of aluminum scrap, which is what I'll be melting today. Now the furnace has a uh, propane burner, which is uh, of the forced air type. A little blower fan can be seen uh, at the bottom uh, left. It's connected to a variac so I can vary the airflow. Here we can see the burner sticking out of the back of the furnace, uh, the gas line uh, leading to it and a ball valve to shut it off right at the burner. On the left here I have some aluminum uh, muffins and bars that I cast from scrap aluminum that I've cleaned up. And on the right I have some uh, smashed, broken, or uh, sawn up pieces of uh, aluminum castings that are going to be recycled today. Here I have some mold set up. I've got a sand mold set up to cast two ingots. I've got two test molds for trying to cast aluminum rods. And then I have three more ingot molds. I'm also going to set out a uh, steel muffin pan. There, I've now added the steel muffin pan that uh, I'd forgotten a minute or two ago. I've got some initial scrap in the crucible, so let's light this thing and get it going. Starting from cold, first thing in the morning, it'll probably take uh, nearly 15 minutes for this first lot of uh, aluminum to melt. When I lit the furnace, uh, I was wearing shorts and deck shoes, but since I am metal casting, I put on coveralls and safety boots. I have safety gloves, and I also have a face shield for when I go to do it more. The lid on this furnace swivels to open it. Just outside the shop door, I have ant pills, but they aren't really worth casting because uh, I've tried it and the ants around here don't seem to live very many to an ant hill. So although I have a nice mound I'm showing on the surface here, there's only going to be maybe two or three inches of uh, tunnel, so you don't get a good uh, ant hill sculpture around here, unfortunately. I have not found ever a large ant hill on this property that's worth bothering to pour aluminum into. So there'll be no uh, ant hill casting today, I'm afraid. It's just not worth bothering with around here. There's four ant hills uh, in this image, and they're all tiny and not worth casting. This that I'm holding right here 
is the best anthill casting and largest one that I've ever gotten on the farm here so far. It's been seven or eight minutes since I lit up and we can see the furnace is uh, getting nice and red inside uh, even though I have daylight and a uh, camera light aimed at the top of it we can still see a bit of the reddish glow from the inside. The aluminum is just beginning to melt then I'll be able to add more so I have a decent amount in the crucible then I will pour. Here's a quick look inside with the initial charge of aluminum. Three quarters melted at about the ten minute point since lighting up. Time to add some more scrap.
the other one leaked everything. I'll have a big ingot on the floor. Okay, we'll pour some muffins here. and muffins went perfectly. I didn't have enough aluminum to go to the sand mold, but uh, there's a dual fail on the cylinder molds. One of them evidently had a hole in the side. The other one I didn't have tightly sealed enough at the bottom and it leaked out, so I'm going to be melting a bunch of aluminum from the floor. So I'll get that back in the crucible and we will do another round of pouring shortly. There is the aluminum that leaked out onto the floor. I'll be putting it right back into the crucible and I'll be continuing. Well, from the first little run there, there's three aluminum muffins three aluminum bars, and the one uh, rod mold did produce uh, about half of the length of the rod I expected. There's about four and a half inches of it there uh, showing on the left of the screen. Once the furnace is warm inside, it doesn't take very long to melt the next batch of aluminum, just a couple of minutes. The crucible is full, it will be melted in a minute or two, so I will be pouring very shortly. Time to skim the dross again. melting away, I will uh, unmold batch number two now. There, I'm slowly gaining a decent supply of uh, cleaned up aluminum. Despite yet another leak out of the rod mold, I still got about four and a half, uh, five inches of rod. I've got my last chunks of the scrap aluminum that I showed earlier in the crucible. It's nearly melted, so this time I'll just be pouring uh, 
bars and muffins uh, as shown here. This last batch of aluminum was fairly dirty, so I will have a good amount of dross to skim this time. Here goes. Shut off the gas and shut off the uh, airflow. Okay. There's the result of that last pour still in the molds. Just waiting for it to uh, cool down so I can dump them out. I'd wanted to set the camera up outside so I could get a better camera angle. But unfortunately, on today's casting day, it's been uh, this non-forecasted rain that's kept me completely pinned inside here. Let's unmold these items now. Well, here's the results of today's aluminum recycling effort. I got to uh, 12 round aluminum muffins. I got the two bars that I sand cast. I got two half lengths of round bar despite all uh, the leaks. I'm gonna have to remake uh, that mold. And then I got nine rectangular bars out of the steel bar molds. Here's a look inside the stainless steel dross pail. I'll uh, have a run of dross that I'll be able to remelt, and uh, I'll be getting a bunch of aluminum back out of this at some point. But I'll wait till I have more before I run it. At this point, I've got the molds and everything stowed back on the foundry cart. The blower is still connected to the variac and running to keep cooling things down. I'll consider it safely cooled when I can stick my hand in there and it uh, doesn't feel hot anymore. Then it'll be cool enough for me to uh, shut down and uh, leave for the day. Uh, here's a quick look into my aluminum bucket. Of 5 gallon pail that I dump my muffins and various ingots and bars into. Pretty much full now. I got room for maybe uh, one more run of uh, aluminum recycling and uh, this will be full.